I love it because you just you know you see things that no one else has seen. You discover things, you know, almost on a daily basis that no one else has discovered. I am Duncan Malis. I am an explorer. MMT is a privately owned survey company. We use various uh, sonar equipment to make maps of what the seabed looks like under, under the ocean. We serve governments, campaigns for collecting data for nautical charts, for coastal engineering, the oil and gas industry, uh, for construction purposes, offshore wind farms. Some of it's called hydrographic surveying. And uh, there's also geophysical surveying because we're doing uh, what's underneath as well as what's on top of the seabed. We capture the bathymetry from the echo sounders. We work with the latest equipment and the latest software um, because we like to be at the, the bleeding edge um, and it gives us a, a, com a competitive edge as well because we can provide data sets that no one else can provide. The thing at the end of the day um, that ties it all together is the GIS. The GIS is where everything uh, finishes up and, and, and remains and is there to be extracted later, is there for the clients to do their uh, analysis on and the GIS is where everything leads to. We're in the process of really making ArcGIS the, um, the hub, if you like, of the organisation so that we can use it for distribution um, internally and externally uh, with the computing power is really what's pushed a lot of it. You know, we can visualize something now on a laptop that needed a, a big silicon graphics workstation to do in the 90s. And it's all digital now as well. Data is all digital. Before it was on analog, on uh, paper. So we're now we're implementing the, uh, the ArcGIS bathymetry solution so that we can visually look at our data and extract that data and be able to use it in, in, uh, in many ways. Without good bathymetry in any of these segments, you can't really analyse the data to its true potential. And one of these areas we worked in is, uh, is up in Scotland. Scotland's one of the, had been one of the least surveyed areas in the UK. We spent about two, three years working around the Orkney Islands. We found uh, two U-boats, two World War I U-boats. Uh, we, we knew they were submarines because the, the resolution of the, uh, the sonars is such that we can make out the, the conning towers and, um, and the length of the, uh, the, the, the submarine. U-102 uh, was uh, tasked with laying mines around the Orkneys. One of those mines sank HMS Hampshire, which was uh, carrying Lord Kitchener at the time, who was the Secretary of War during World War I. The offshore wind uh, industry in the UK is growing exponentially at the moment. By 2015, I think the UK has to have at least 25 to 30% of its power generated by renewable sources. The role at the moment is to push the wind farms offshore. Uh, wind farms are absolutely colossal. I mean, they're, they're, the, the actual turbines themselves are you know, 100 metres in diameter. And the last thing that any of the renewable companies want to do is uh, impact the environment that, they, that is currently there. You need to have good quality data, and that's what MMT provide them with. We provide them with the, the highest quality data they can get. It's more what you see underneath than anything else. You just see a landscape that most people don't see. And, you know, we're trying to make that landscape more accessible to, to more people so they're more aware of it.